Hey there, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. Uh, be sure if you like this, subscribe, uh, give me a little thumbs up, you know, share me with your friends, put it on Pinterest, however you want to do it. Anyway, today what I'm going to do is this little uh, page for my button book. Uh, it's because it's all about the mother of pearl buttons, not so much about the slow stitching, but I'm doing some of the embroidery stitches from the basic embroidery uh, tutorial. So don't go away. For my next little page, I'm going to do the, I had some black ones on here, but I decided to do all white mother of pearl buttons. And I got these little uh, tags, or they're actually little muslin pieces, and I think that they're fusible. I'm not sure. I'm not going to fuse them. I don't think they are fusible. I think she just has interfacing on the back. And I got those from Simple Life Stitches off of Etsy. And there's like uh, vintage buttons, dorset buttons, rainbow glass buttons, toggle button shirt, wooden button up, cute as a button, bonkers about buttons, that would be me. Anyway, so I am going to photograph this so that I can remember where my button placement is. I am going to, with my, this is a, uh, water erasable pen and so I'm going to go ahead and just mark where these buttons are going to go I mean you know if I didn't get them in exactly the right place it wouldn't be like the end of the world or anything like that but sometimes whenever you're like you have them all laid out the way you want them big and small on and off in and out anyway I want to kind of set me a couple of little stems all right, and then I'm going to put pearl buttons on my little flower pot. This is a little batik piece of fabric. This is just from an old linen uh, dresser scarf that I cut up and uh, fused the back of it. And so I'm going to get my threads ready. To stitch this little flower pot, I'm going to use a blanket stitch. So I'm going to start in this top corner. And I'm going to leave this open because I think I might want to like do my green stitches here in a little bit, but since I already threaded up with brown, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Now I'm turning it upside down because of the direction that I need to go in. And so I'm just, I'm going to do smaller blanket stitches and closer together. I could just do a running stitch, but I just love this finish. It's more like a little applique stitch. And these stitches are in my beginners uh, part one, uh, ease, eight easy st stitches, embroidery stitches for slow stitching. All right, that's how I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go all the way around and I will be back whenever I get that finished. All right, I've already done this corner, and so as I get to this corner, I want to kind of watch my spacing, and because uh, I want to be able to, as you can see, I what I did was three little stitches, whoops, three little stitches in this corner. So I want to duplicate that over here. So I'm just going to kind of watch, we'll kind of go out just a little bit there, and I think that'll be just about right. So now if I come back in to the same spot and go to the corner and then again back into the same spot and that gets my little corner of my pot. Let me just tighten that one up just a tiny little bit. There we go. And then turn it and start up the edge. To make my stems, uh, I'm going to do a back stitch. And I didn't show you how to do that one before, but I'm, so I'm going to show you now. I already have a knot in the, my thread. And this is the center of my where my button's going to be. I don't want to come up right in the middle of that. Okay. 
You can t make the stitches as long or as short as you want to. And then I'm going to go in right at the bottom of that stitch that I just did. There. I'm going to put my leaves on after I put the buttons on so I can know where they need to go. I decided to put a little row of stitching right across the, oops, come here, across the bottom of this pot or the lip of the pot. And I could draw a line with my little uh, water soluble pencil or I could just kind of hold my thread like that to the edge where I want it to go. And then take that little stitch and right there. And do that one more time. Alrighty, got my buttons attached and I just used some yellow floss and I didn't run all of the buttonholes like the same direction. Some of them were like this one goes across, this one's kind of sideways, sideways, across, and then some of them are four hole buttons. Uh, anyway, so now, and I've got my stems done, you saw me do that, I'm going to add some leaves, and I'm going to do this like I did in, I don't know, it was another project, but instead of start, I'm going to use a lazy daisy, but instead of starting at the stem, I'm going to start out here, away from the stem, and I'm going to just kind of angle this, So I'm going to turn this so I can get a good angle going here. And I'm going to go right back in about the same place that I came out of and angle this down into the stem. Wrap that thread around. And so this will give me a point and a little rounded part at the stem. So hold this so that my thread doesn't tangle. I've got a lot of thread on here. And so that looks more like a little leaf. I could do a little satin stitch, but I don't want to do that. So be sure you check out my eight beginner embroidery stitches. And then there's part one and part two. And since I'm on this side, I don't have to turn it around. I can just run that needle back toward me. And I can tell that the next thing that I'm going to want to make is a needle book. Some place to keep my, not a sewing kit so much, but just a little needle book. And uh, where it doesn't tangle. There we go. So I'm going to do this one with a little bit of a stem. So I'm coming up almost behind that button there. Flip it back around, and then I don't want to go all the way down to my stem to catch, to make my little lazy daisy, like that. All right, and so then I want to connect it to the stem, so just instead of coming in right beside, right at the end of that, I'm going to come into the stem part. And that makes it have a little, little stem. Okay, and one more thing while I'm still on camera. <coughs> excuse me. I want to give this one a little leaf. So we're going to kind of put this up under where that button is. Because not all the leaves are in on the inside of the flower pot.
This is part one of two parts. Next time I'm going to add the little curtains out of eyelet lace. Look who came to join us. Aw, oh, kitty, no. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure you like, subscribe, give me a little thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.